Hey everybody, Sean here for Media Assault, and it is time once again for another entry into my Halloween Horror Series for 2016. This time out I'm doing something a little bit different. This is Blackula from 1972, starring William Marshall, Denise Nicholas, Vanetta McKee, and uh, Gordon Pinsent, and Thalmus Rasulala. Um, this was directed by William Crane, who did a lot of work in television, and this is a film that uh, I had heard about as a kid. I think the first mention of it I saw in a book of horror films that I bought when I was probably about eight or nine years old, and I didn't really give it much thought. I just thought, as a young kid, not knowing anything about black exploitation movies, that it was just a black Dracula movie. I had no idea what to expect from it, and for some reason I never even bothered watching it until uh, today. I found it, I found a used copy of it in my local used DVD store and figured what the hell I'll put it in the Halloween Horror Series this year uh, because I did want to get a chance to see it. And uh, it's not quite as bad as I thought it might be. It's definitely not as cringe inducing as I thought it could be. It's definitely not a politically correct film. Uh, I'll get more into that in a moment. but. The basic plot of the film is you have William Marshall as an African prince named Mamu Walde who travels to Europe in an, to an unnamed country, but this unnamed, unnamed country contains Castle Dracula, and of course Dracula himself lives there. And Mamu Walde is visiting Dracula to hope to convince him to end slavery. But of course, who knew that Dracula is a racist and does not find anything barbaric at all about slavery, and he takes offense to this notion of ending slavery, and he puts a curse on Mamu Walde, biting him, of course, turning him into a vampire, locking him in a coffin, and uh, basically forcing his wife to die beside the locked coffin as he seals them both in a hidden room in Castle Dracula. So then we flash forward to present day, well, 1972, uh, Europe, and two flamboyantly gay interior designers are purchasing Castle Dracula for its antiques. Uh, they transport the coffin back to Los Angeles and unwittingly open it, unleashing the, Mama, the undead Mama Walde, who of course was given the name Blackula by Count Dracula back in the 1700s. Uh, nobody refers to him in the movie as Blackula. He is always referred to as Mama Walde. Uh, and basically, Mama Walde starts preying on the citizens of Los Angeles. Apologize for the plane taking off. I live near an airport. Um, so Mama Walde spies one day a woman who looks a lot, well, exactly, like his wife, his now dead wife, Luva, and her name is Tina, and she's played by uh, Vanetta McKee, and he begins to pursue her, and of course using his vampire wiles, he convinces her to be in a relationship with him. It's very noisy on my street today, sorry about that. Um, and of course, vampire formulaic plot ensues. Uh, Blackula is actually kind of a fun movie. It's like I said, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Being a black exploitation movie, something that I'm a, a genre that I'm not really that well versed in, uh, it's not as offensive as I thought it might be. I was hoping that it would not be an incredibly racist film or incredibly stereotypical. Uh, it really isn't, other than the depiction of the gay interior designers and how they're mentioned and referred to throughout the film. Um, but otherwise, it's a fairly decent film, um, and a movie that, although it's certainly not a great film, uh, it does have a few decent scares in it. Um, they're more chilling moments than actual scares. It's not like it's bone-chillingly frightening or anything, but it's pretty decent. It's pretty campy. Uh, it is what it is as a film of the 1970s, the early 1970s. It unfortunately looks like a TV movie, and it was directed by William Crane, who did a lot of work in TV, and as a result, the film seems to be framed pretty much in a TV way. 
Um, the The soundtrack is very heavy on 1970s funk. Uh, there are several films from the band The Hughes Corporation that are in it, and there's actually uh, a, a rather lengthy musical number that takes place in a nightclub, so it's not completely out of context, but it does kind of jar you in the middle of the film, like, wait, where did this come from? Uh, William Marshall is pretty damn badass as Mama Walde. Uh, his really deep bass voice is very imposing. Uh, there's a part in the film near the end where he announces that he's going to kill everyone in a particular building. Uh, that's very effective because of his voice, his screen presence. Uh, he was six foot five, so he's very imposing on screen as well, not just his voice. Uh, just a, a pretty damn good performance from him. Everybody in this movie is pretty, pretty decent. Uh, for what they're asked to do. Um, so I can't really say that this is a movie that I would recommend without hesitation, but it's certainly a movie that isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, it's actually kind of fun. Uh, for a Halloween horror party, it might be worth uh, a play. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm, I can't, again, I can't say it's a great film. I'm going to give it a six and a half out of ten. Uh, but it's really kind of entertaining and fun and uh, worth a watch if you're into black exploitation movies, vampire movies, or just generally want to see something unusual. So there you go. That's my review of Blackula from 1972. Uh, my next entry is either going to be Lords of Salem or Maggie. I'm not sure which of those two I will watch next, but watch out for that review coming up in the next week or so. Um, and I'm actually going to see Shin Godzilla tonight. I'm very excited about that, so there'll be a review of that coming up as well. So, as always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thanks for watching. Take it easy. See ya.